Have you ever told someone that you're sorry without meaning it? That's probably a silly question because I think everyone has. Sometimes we say sorry because a parent or a teacher makes us, and sometimes we say sorry just so we can move on. I ask because we grown-ups, we often tell kids that the High Holy Days, especially Yom Kippur, are about saying we're sorry. But actually, I think it's a little more complicated than that, but not too complicated for you to understand. The days from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur are called the Aseret Yemei Tshuva, the 10 days of repentance. And saying sorry is only part of repentance. But let me stop myself, because I think the Hebrew word teshuva is actually easier to explain than the English word repentance. The word teshuva comes from the word for turning or returning. And both words are helpful for us. Turning, because we turn our behavior around. Teshuva is recognizing that we did something wrong and turning ourselves around so we behave differently the next time. Returning is a helpful word because when we do tshuva, we're returning ourselves to the person that we want to be. In the prayers we say during these holidays, we sometimes talk about tshuva as returning to God or returning to the ways that God wants us to act. Every year on the High Holy Days, we get to think about what kind of person we want to be and how we want to treat other people. We also get to think back on the last year when we may not always have acted kindly towards ourselves, towards our family, our friends, or even towards the world. We can think about all these things all year, of course, but these 10 days are especially for doing tshuva, for trying to turn our behavior around so that we can be the best version of ourselves. To help myself remember that repentance, tshuva, is about turning, I made, and I invite you to make, a tshuva person by decorating the person-shaped popsicle stick that came in the High Holy Day Kids package. If you didn't get one, you can draw the outline of a person, cut it out, and use it just like I used the popsicle stick. Start by drawing a frown on the face on one side and a smile on the face on the other side. And then decorate both sides to look like you. Write the word tshuva below the person on the long part of the stick. Here's how it works. Holding up the frowning side of your tshuva person, think of a time in the last year where you acted in a way that was unkind, unsafe, or went against what a grown-up said. Here's an example. Your brother's playing with a toy that you wanted to use, and you grabbed it out of his hand. Now, turn your stick around to show the smiling side and think about how you could do tshuva, how you could turn your behavior around and make a different choice the next time the same thing happens. Maybe you could play with a different toy. Maybe you could ask nicely to use the toy. Or maybe you could suggest a way to play with the toy together. Hopefully, you apologized when you did the behavior that was unkind or unsafe. But you haven't really done tshuva until you've had the chance to do the same thing again and you chose to act in a better way. So now it's your turn to think of an example for your tshuva person and help them turn their behavior around to the smiling side. Good luck.